It's a week since, of course, we got that historic deal announced between AT&T and Discovery to create a new company comprised of AT&T's Warner Media business and Discovery itself, 71% of which will be owned by AT&T shareholders. It will be taking on a good deal of debt, paying $43 billion over to AT&T and putting that on its balance sheet as debt will be about five times levered. Of course, one of the key people behind this deal is John Malone. He's the man who is a uh, longtime holder of Discovery, of course, in an economic position of size, but also a control position, which he actually gave up for the deal. In an interview that we uh, taped uh, late last Friday, I did ask Malone for his perspective on why AT&T felt that this was something it needed to do at this very moment. Unfortunately, AT&T found themselves, I think, in a competitive environment where they just couldn't pivot fast enough, uh, and they were also facing increased competition on the traditional AT&T business of, uh, of 5G, and they were uh, seeing opportunity in broadband, but didn't have the resources to aggressively pursue broadband. So I think this, this makes all kinds of industrial logic here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.